competition. Daryl Nita winning the national title, but uh, Dina, I'm sure, will have her head down here. She won the bronze over 200 in Eugene, up against such incredible competition from three Jamaicans. But these women, with the music in the background, the light show adding to the tension and the excitement for this final event of day two at these European Athletics Championships. Just look at this, eyes peeled on these eight finalists. So it's tough to call, but Dina has done this before in Berlin. Mujinga Kambunji should be close to her. 11.05 in qualifying, and then Daryl Nita looked like more to come from her. Lansico, Dosso, Asher Smith, Kambunji, Nita, Lucan Kemper, Svoboda, and Perez. The final of the women's 100 meters. So Asher Smith from three, a decent start for her. Dosso nearly alongside. Here comes Kambunji. Asher Smith is out. Kambunji, Lucan Kemper trying to chase. Oh my word, Lucan Kemper with Nita also closing. That had way more drama than we were anticipating, and you could even write. So, in the end, Nita, fastest qualifier, but we don't break 11 seconds, at least that's what the clock stops at. 11 dead, Kambunji just looking. It's been given to Lukenkemper, who does incredibly complete the set. Bronze, silver and gold across the last three European Championships. Well, that is truly incredible. And there'll be some in this stadium who really believe she could do it, and others who think that's some surprise. Kambunji then, they've been given the same time. Officially now it is below 11, 10.99. And it means so much to Lucan Kemper. She won the relay bronze medal in Eugene, where unfortunately the Brits, from their point of view, faltered with that injury to Dina Asher-Smith, who wasn't recovered. Daryl Nita follows up her Commonwealth medal with one then in the Europeans. Well, where did that come from, from Gina Lucan Kemper? Out in lane six, and there was absolutely nothing to suggest in her pre-championship form that she was going to challenge the likes of Majinga Kambunji and Daryl Nita, nor Dina Asher-Smith, whose injury issues came back to haunt her. Look at the tears flooding down. Germany's first champion at the sprint since Verena Saylor 12 years ago. Kambunji, well, she got a bronze six years ago on home soil when they were in Zurich, was aiming just to become the second Swiss woman ever to win a European Championships title. She got so close, it came down to thousands of a second. Once again, Daryl Nita just denied after looking so, so good in the semi-finals. After that, everyone was a long way back. It was those three. We'll try and give you an update on the situation with Dina Asher-Smith, but it did look as though it was the problem that plagued her in the relay in Eugene. Well, the medics just paying some attention to Lucan Camper. I think she just took a bit of a knock on the wrist as she fell over the line. And Lucan Camper just comes from a long, long way back. Kambunje, an absolutely terrific start from her. Svoboda, the 60 meter specialist, drops back after 50 meters. There she goes. She takes a tumble, rolls over on her wrist. Well, the pain was immediately forgotten once she crossed the line. It's taken a minute or two for it to <laughs> go through the nervous system. Well, I cannot recall a women's major international championship that was split by just one one hundredth of a second between the three medalists. That's one for looking up further down the line. She just can't believe it. I think she's probably taken a sprain on the wrist. Hopefully that won't affect her baton hand. I don't know quite what it is. She just can't believe it. But where did that come from?
It's blood, sweat and tears, quite literally, isn't it, for Lucan Kemba. That's her fifth medal in uh, three editions of these championships. So, so close. I almost want to cry just looking at the way that she burst into tears there. Kambunji, though, such a consistent performer. She really made her name after those home championships in Zurich, and this time it's another athlete in their own backyard, as it were, on the top step of the podium. But uh, if you're the gold medalist, you get the attention of the medical staff quite quickly, don't you? And uh, she'll be glad to see that running through all the emotions. But look at the face, though, of Daryl Nita. Was, she wanted more than that. I was going to say, the quick exit from the track of Daryl Nita says everything. She was brilliant in the semi-finals, dipping underneath 11 seconds and just, as you said, Phil, maybe letting the occasion get the better of her. She just looked tense, couldn't quite push past Kumbunji and Lucan Kempfer in the closing stages. And Kumbunji as well got a lightning quick start, did super well to hold on to second place. And shame to see Dina Asher Smith. She threw her hands up when she had to stop in frustration. Ultimately, the reigning champion had to jog it in and settle for eighth place. I think that'll be a major blow to the relay hopes of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and a major boost to the German medal hopes. Bronze at World Championships, could they take another gold here? And Kumbunji, another brilliant championship performance. Lightning quick start. She's worked on that. We've seen her be great indoors, taking that world indoor title. So Kumbunji with the lead at the moment, and Dina Asher Smith pulling up 30 or 40 meters into the race. Daryl Nita is perhaps finishing the fastest out of the three medalists. You can see Nita pulling up alongside, looking comfort. But it all changes in perhaps the last five, 10 meters. Kumbunji just falters ever so slightly. Look and comfort, has the momentum. And the great lean as well from the German athlete times that to perfection. So much so she can barely get over the line. A wonderful emotion for Gina Look and comfort. I think her non selection for Eugene individually was a bit contentious. And she's bounced back brilliantly well to take this title here. It's funny when you look at those pictures and you see the times, you think all three athletes had such a brilliant chance to win that but looking Kemba came through similar to the way that she did in the semi-final only Nita was in front of her but the determination there there just seemed to be no stopping her this was her day in the Olympiastadion in Munich for the German Gina looking Kemba now 25 years of age but yeah she's been competing at these kinds of championships for uh, six years and more so has that experience but to get gold, silver and bronze 